Hey guys, in this photo editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the black and white gradient map adjustment to enrich your model skin and make the skin tone look very beautiful. Surprisingly, this technique is very easy and the result is super amazing. And with no further ado, let's cover the tutorial from start to finish. If you watch this tutorial all the way to the end, I'm very sure you are going to learn something new. So, the first thing we are going to do, if you zoom into the skin of this image, take your spot healing brush and then you remove the pimples on the face of this model. So, you take your spot healing brush and then remove the pimples on her face. It's as easy as this. If there's any obvious pimples, remove it using the spot healing brush too. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to smooth in our skin. And while smoothing our skin, we need to retain the texture so that it doesn't look too plastic. So we use the AutoFix FX action. Click on the AutoFix FX and click on the play button. And voila, this action is going to automatically retouch our skin for us. And it's going to do it in a most realistic way. If you want the impact to be more visible, you can Right click, flatten the image, click on the auto fix FS action again, and when you play it, it's going to increase the smoothness of the image while still retaining the texture. Uh, this is obviously too much, so we are going to create a layer max. Control I to invert the layer max. Take our brush, make sure the foreground is white. I'll paint on areas we want to be really smooth, like the forehead, the chin be on the nose places we are going to avoid is the leaves and the other parts of the body and also the general image we are not going to add this too much smoothening on them so we can take a look at the before and the after here was the before zoom in closely and here we are right now you can see our skin has been smoothing why the texture has been retained. It's an amazing way to retouch your image using just one click. The AutoFix FS action can automatically retouch your image like this. Taking it from looking this rough to looking this smooth while retaining the texture. You can get the AutoFix action. Link is in the description. So check the link in the description to get the AutoFix FS action so that you can use just one click to retouch your image and get flawless skin like this. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to add depth to this image. To do that, we are going to come to layer, new layer, create a new layer, change the blending mode to overlay, fill it overlay, neutral color, click on OK. Now duplicate this layer, name this shine, and come down here and name this deep. On the shine, come to your channel, click on this selection icon right here. Click on load channel as selection. So it's going to give you this selection. So while the selection is on, you come to your layer. Make sure you're on the shine layer, take your brush. Make sure the foreground is white. Change the flow to 10. And then paint on these areas that have been selected. The forehead, the nose, the, the cheek here like this top of the lips and the bottom of the lips. This is a very easy way to add shine and to add depth to your image. It's super easy. And also the lips, you are going to paint on the lips like this. Now you're going to come to select and deselect. You see the before and the after. You come to the deep, come to channel. Load channel and selection. Come back to your layers. Make sure you're on the deep layer, select. Inverse the selection, check your brush this time, and now make sure your foreground is black and now paint on the areas that have been selected to darken those areas. I'm going to contour the image. This method is super easy, it's also refers, it can also be referred to as the Dodge and Bone technique, but this technique is super easy. Make sure you adjust the opacity. So this time I'm going to reduce the opacity all the way to 20. For the shine, we reduce the opacity to 30. Now we are going to select the two layers and group them. Group from layers, we give it a name. Pop, something like that. Now you click on OK. 
here was the before and here is the after. You can also adjust the opacity. Don't forget until you get the, the intensity of the adjustment to adjust opacity before and after. Here was the before and here is the after. So we still go on to reduce the opacity of the shine like this before and after. This is okay. The next thing we are going to do, we are going to create a gradient map, uh, a black and white gradient map like this. We are going to click on the gradient to bring up the gradient editor. Now on the tuna range, here is the shadow, here is the black point, and here is the white point. So on the black point, we are going to click on color. We are going to insert this S code into the image. We are going to write 8842192. Click on OK. Now while on the white, that is the bright part of the image, we are going to click on the color. We are going to insert 7370 6D. Now we are going to click on OK again. This time I'm going to click on OK. Change the blend mode to soft light. Wow, before and after. This is amazing. See the before, see the after. This is really amazing. Please, if you've forgotten to like, please like this video right now. Subscribe to this channel also. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. See the before, see how washed out this image is looking. See the after, see how enriched the skin tone is. This is going to be very handy. I'm going to put out more hair code for different skin colors. So we just did this one. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to put out hair code for melanin skin tone, dark skin tone, neutral skin tone, natural skin tone, light skin tone, amazing skin tone, golden skin tone. There are several hair code that we're going to insert right here for different images. And I'll show you all of them on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. So see the before and see the after. The result is super amazing. But this time, the result is all over the image. So we are going to create a layer max. Control I to invert the layer max. Or Command I if you are using a Mac. Take your brush. Make sure the foreground is white and then paint on the skin. We want to review the effect. Increase your flow. Paint on the skin like this to review the effect. As simple as this. Here's the before and here's the after. We can also change this skin tone. Now we have enriched the skin tone. And to make it appear more better, we can create a selective color adjustment. Now we are going to increase the reds in the reds. And we are going to remove the magenta. I'm going to come to the, to the yellow. We are going to add blue to the yellow by removing the yellows in the yellow channel. So here was the before and here's the after. You can also slightly desaturate this using the hue saturation adjustment. Select the skin tone and slightly desaturate it like this and darken it a little bit like this. See the before and the after. Another thing we can do, we can add the levels adjustment. I use that to add contrast to the image by pulling in some black and also bringing in some highlights. So before and after, we can also whiten the eye by creating a hue saturation adjustment. Target the eye, there are reds in the eye, so we desaturate the reds. I increase the brightness, the lightness, control I to invert this layer. Zoom into the eye area, take your brush, make sure the foreground is white, and I paint on the eye, the eye white to review this effect. As easy as this. If there's any area you're painting that is not desirable, you invert the foreground to black, and then you remove, you paint like this to remove. So before and after. And don't forget how we got this smooth skin. We use the auto fix FS action. You can see before applying the action and see after applying the action. So you can get that link is in the description. It's just $1. So if you'd like to contribute just $1 to this channel, click the link in the description to give you this auto fix FS action. That's going to speed up your retouching workflow and it's going to make you a better retoucher and also a faster retoucher. You can still go on to add your lots if you have any lots. If you don't have any lot on your system or you need my lots, 
you can check the link in the description for free lot on my website so you can load your lot if you have a lot on your system or you can try any of the Fulocom Photoshop lots. You might be lucky. You might see one that will work for you. Don't forget, you can still adjust the opacity of the lot you apply. If you like the lot, you can adjust the opacity. You can increase. You can adjust the opacity. I'm not using any lots for this image. For this tutorial, if you need lots, check the link in the description to get my lot. Leave your feedback in the comment section. Happy to be part of your creative journey. Please share this video to your colleagues that might need them. See you in another amazing tutorial.